Wow. So nice to see you. Nice to be here you, as always. You look like a kid, for heaven's sake. Thank you look you. great. You look fantastic. Thank you, you look exactly, if not better, like the first day I saw you. Which That's is a long time ago. Been a long time. We've known each other a yes, long we have. time, buddy. And by the <laughs> way, uh, double thanks to you for being here. I understand you got uh, uh, kind of whipsawed in the volcanic. I did. Active. I was supposed to be in London, and uh, uh, I'm not going anywhere. There's no flights, and mm -hmm. the flights are now circling. Uh, is that what they're doing? They actually are in the they sky. They sent now? the flights over to London, but they're not letting them land. Oh, ooh, that's ugly. So <laughs> you're on the floor out at JFK. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm roughing it. Yeah. yeah. But uh, when you travel around a lot, and I, uh, obviously it's gotten worse and more complicated, but you've been stuck uh, before. I'm guessing everybody gets well, stuck I, sometimes. I, I do have one memorable uh, uh, that was kind of life changing, mm -hmm. which I was here uh, after the night. I met Ashton and was on the uh, tarmac, and the uh, pilots got on and said, We have a level five storm, and you uh, have to go uh, back. And I came out. There was a uh, not even a cloud in the sky, right. and so sometimes layovers turn into sleepovers. Right. So, oh, sleepovers. Wow. And, uh, and uh. you know, <laughs> if the um, quality of a, a relationship is measured by the, the <laughs> ring. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my goodness. So, I hear it, ma'am. This, uh, this is what we're looking for, ma'am, right there. <laughs> <laughs> and that deserves a little momo cuckoo. I think so. <laughs> No pressure there, pal, but did you get a look at that? I mean, you might as well be wearing a damn doorknob. Now, come on. Uh, I think we probably talked about this in the past, but uh, uh, so, so that was the night that you and Ashton Kutcher decided that maybe there was something more than a, a, an acquaintance, a ship, a friendship. And, yeah, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. How, did you, how did you meet this guy? Because, he, he, I mean, uh, 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 no, seriously. How did I meet him? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was really a mutual friend, and a whole group uh, of us went out to dinner, mm -hmm. and we found that we uh, spent the whole night just speaking with mm -hmm. one another. Made a connection. Made a connection. Yep. And uh, seemed like a nice fellow. I only know him from the show. He's a great guy. Mm -hmm. Did you think for a while you were getting punked? Uh, <laughs> you, probably, you probably get sick of that joke, don't you? Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Fun. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm off limits. Perhaps he might have thought he was. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and no, I did come with three children, an ex-husband. But see, that, that's what the, is even more amazing and commendable that the family unit uh, has expanded now and everybody's part of it. Uh, that's just Thank fantastic you. because you. it's great for the kids, isn't it? It's it has... a, amazing and I feel really fortunate that we've all, I mean, we do all of our family vacations right. together and... Um... Or friends, neighbors and interact and so... But yeah. do, do, do other people do this? I've never heard of this. I, there are some people who do it. You have to be very smart and, and I think very caring ultimately to, to include this. And I think you have to have your priorities clear yeah. and for us that was our children good for you well yeah. that's the way it's supposed to be for god's sakes yeah. nice going on that one now uh and he's mr uh, uh twitter twitter yeah he is, he how is did the, that, he how did that kind happen? of considered the king of twitter but he has how many people follow him on I twitter like 4.7 million something is that right yes whoa and how did that begin and, and uh I, you know somebody just said hey you should check this out and he told me to get on and and oh Speaking of that, I seem to have a little message. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Speaking of, it's him. Um, oh, now this stinks. I'm not joking. Oh, now this stinks. <laughs> now that's, no, no. Can I just say it? Let yeah, me just show you. No. He wrote, my superwoman, I'm headed to the airport. Uh-huh, good, thanks, Ashley. Okay. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. Yeah, no, but uh, Twitter, I, I heard you gave it a oh, try. Oh, you're going to be on TV. Maybe I should be on TV, too. I'll... <laughs> Uh, Twitter. I better Twitter so I'm on TV. He didn't even know oh I was here. Oh my God! Now where's he going? Over the ash he's cloud? Nobody can. See me. He's coming to see you. Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. So, what happened with your Twitter adventure? I have people writing me saying, you know, when's Dave going to get on there? Well, I've been What's on his it. What's his name? Uh, yeah, I don't. How's it going? Uh, um, the only thing that I've, I've found useful about Twitter is if you can get on there and anonymously annoy people. That's what. <laughs> That's what I, because it's like in high school when you used to make crank phone calls. That's all I want out of Twitter. Well, <laughs> well I have people who have asked some questions. Of, uh, oh, you have some yes, questions there? For you. Okay. So they said, uh, Your husband I, I don't. Twitters while you're in the middle of the show. Oh, my God. <laughs> it was just, just a text message. Yeah, like a second uh, goes by that he's not uh, mentioned somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, 
Oh, you're so harsh on Thank him. You. He's Thank such you very a good much. guy and so good looking. Now tell me about this. Uh, <laughs> Tell me about the, 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 the malaria and mosquito nettings. Well, that's the valuable part of, I mean, the, the idea is it's, it's one to a million, a million to one, and, and you can reach people on a, on a global level, and if you use it for right. social um, good, um, like we saw with the malaria nets, it, you know, people really want to participate. They want to make a difference, and, and that was just kind of our first steps into... But how, um, how did that occur to the two of you, that that was a need that could be met? Um, you know, we had been approached about helping with the malaria nets, and at that time, this race evolved with CNN and Ashton, and um, he just felt like doing it just for himself didn't like, seem worthy enough. And so when uh, he put into place the idea of let's do this for the, the, for the purpose of the malaria nets. And, and it's incredible what's been able to happen uh, um, since that time. Well, it's remarkable because if you look into it a bit, you realize that some of the biggest problems around the world couldn't be easier to solve. It's true, but it, if you look at, I am, you know, able to um, connect with people that in my physical existence I might not ever mm -hmm. run into. That's right. And, and now, you know, Ash and I are using it. We started a foundation, the DNA Foundation, to end um, child sex slavery. And it's uh, not a very popular issue, but it's, uh, it's, a, it's an unfortunate, uh, uh, leap prolific one uh, around the world, and we've been able to reach already an incredible amount of people. You're looking at gas. Oh, well, I, I mean, my God, just the, those words uh, put together like that, it, oh, it just it makes you, uh, uh, I mean, it's horrifying. Uh, it's, uh, and it, know, in terms of numbers, uh, and to tell me this is not so, a huge problem. Well, uh, slavery overall is, there's uh, estimated 27 million people a year who are enslaved, and um, does that include the horn section? Thank you, boys. There's a shout out for you right there. Come on, put that on your Twitter. I'm telling you. Tw so we have, though, in the United States, which is a, an area we wanted to focus on, because I think a lot of people think this happens over in a, in a developed country. Well, I never country. thought it happened anywhere, for God's sake. Yeah, sense. it happens uh, uh, in more places than you would know. And right here, the estimate is about 300,000 children are enslaved. Um, in America, which is uh, pretty shocking. In, in this country? In this be, country. Be, being held against their will by people yes. other than their parents? Fraudulent, by... coerced, offered a better life, and, and, and mostly we're looking at, you know, uh, young underage girls, um, 12 to 14. It's the average age of entry into the commercial sex industry. Uh, and and are, are some of these uh, in that, that number in uh, uh, marital uh, disputes and custody disputes, or this is altogether something else? It's, it's a combination. We, you know, if you look at the missing and exploited children, what you often uh, are getting are children who are, you know, vulnerable and roped in. And, and 300,000. Yeah. Is that accurate? Yeah, it 300, is. 300,000? Yeah. Oh, my God. Well, that's just awful. And that's, awful. I just went to Haiti for the same purpose, um, dealing with the rest of that um, situation. Wow. So, but... Back to Twitter. I don't feel this like is a going on, show. honestly. Sorry. Just... So, so, but I, oh, no, wait a minute. I want to educate you on uh, Twitter. Okay, well, you do that, and we'll be right back. And okay. we'll <laughs> to me more, ladies and gentlemen.